There's always a certain amount of excitement when a new animal is added to the collection here at the North Carolina Zoo. But when that animal happens to be a gorilla, one of the zoo's most popular species, it causes an even bigger stir. Nicosi, our silverback male gorilla, is approximately 17 years old. He was born at the Columbus Zoo in Columbus, Ohio, and he's been here since March. Before Nick, we only had three females. Typically, gorillas in the wild live in a social structure where there's one male gorilla that manages or lives with and is the dominant animal in a social group with multiple females. So in order to exhibit gorillas and house them as typically as they would be in the wild, we needed a silverback male to go with our three girls. Previously, we had two young males, Charlie and Curtis. They were sent to the Denver Zoo to be part of a bachelor group there. The Species Survival Plan works with the Population Management Center. They look at the overall gorilla population in the U.S. and uh, worldwide. They work with institutions and the institution's desires, and they make a decision based on genetics, the overall population needs, the individual needs of the animal, and the institution's needs. In the future, we'll work with the SSP and other holders to get uh, other females here and to help us possibly have a, a breeding potential here with Nicosi and other females. With the arrival of Nicosi, visitors have another great reason to see the gorilla exhibit here at the North Carolina Zoo. If you'd like to learn more about gorillas or any of the other animals at the zoo, check out our website at nczoo.org. I'm Rod Hackney reporting for the Zoo Files, connecting your life to wildlife.